now we're going to fit a, a mortar to a washing machine. Obviously if you've been away from the machine you need to make sure that nobody's plugged it back in and it's essential that you check this. And um, as I said when, when we were removing the mortar uh, it's always best to take the fuse out if there's any danger of somebody plugging it back in and you must always check that it's been unplugged before you start working on it. So we're going to fit this mortar now to this washing machine and the first thing we need to do is insert that spigot into its locating hole there. And also we'll make sure that that all aligns with the plastic stud on the front there. It will actually only go in one way so it is pretty much foolproof. So that just slots in there like that. The difficult part now is getting this bolt back in down here because it's really difficult to do. If, if the drum wasn't actually in the machine it would be a lot easier. So for the purpose of this demonstration I'm just going to slide the drum that way and then push the mortar down so that you can get a good view of it. So we'll push the bolt through the hole on the mortar and then on the inside we'll put on there whatever we took off when we removed the mortar which in this case was a locking nut. So we're just going to get that in there and then once you've got the nut on there you can just tighten it up a little bit and then you can swing the mortar back into its normal position. So then we need to put the tensioning bolt back on with a spring washer. And also the nut that came off there. So you only need to tighten that on tight because you're going to tighten that up once you put your belt on. So now to remake the electrical connections we just need to plug the plug back into the socket and make sure it's all the way in. And then the most important part which is the earth wire. So that's how to refit a mortar. Uh, I've covered how to refit the belt uh, in another demonstration.